today for waking us up this morning to see the beauty of another day. Take all the glory, dear Lord. Take all the honor, dominion, majesty, and power in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is another day you have given to us. Give us the word for the day. Let our day end on a glorious note in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to another wonderful time with God and glorious morning show. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We want to thank God for how far God is taking us in the month of November, our month of showers of blessings. Blessings that may have eluded us for long shall be restored back in the month of November before we round up the year. The word for your shower today is no more depression. End of depression. I know many believers are going through a kind of tough time occasion by the economy of our country and even that of the world. Many are going through terrible hard time. But the blessings of God that is coming your way today have the potency of terminating what that hard time has brought. And a hard time has brought a kind of depression in people. They are not sick, but they look as if they are sick, very weak, emotionally traumatized because they can't meet up some of their basic needs. And God is saying today that as you open up your heart and open up your mind to Him, and as you begin to relate with God in godly way, He will usher His blessing into your life to subdue that depression and deliver you from that state of worry in Jesus' name. Remember Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, it says, Come to me, all you who are who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Now God is asking that in case you are under a kind of a body, and I know many are under some kind of a body, he said, Come ye unto me, many of you who are in that situation, I am going to give you rest. The scripture says, He said, If it were not so, I would have told you. That is why he said, In my father's house, there are many mansions. If God said he will give you rest, he will give you rest. So, But you have the responsibility of coming to him first. Have you acknowledged the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you opened to the Lord Jesus Christ? Or you are still there trying others? Because of what the devil brought your way, you are kind of derailing from the way of God. I have known many people that in those days confess Jesus, but today they are living opposite their confession. God is using today to remind you that don't allow that state of depression drag you away from God. Say, come ye unto me, eh, all of you who labor and are heavy laden. Another scripture also that we need to look at that have the potency to take you out of depression is 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Say, casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Anxiety is worry. That's another scripture, another translation says, cast all your worries on him because he cares for you. 
I'm here this morning to challenge you to know that God truly cares for you. Is I will give you rest if only you open up to me. And the way of God is so simple that many things, because of the simplicity of the way of God, it doesn't make sense. It is easier to relate with God than to relate with the world because the world system of getting things done take a lot from you. Check those who go to meet herbalists. Check those who go to consult Divya and say how their life is. Do, does the devil do those things for them for free? Things that don't even last. Put a demand on it. Check those who are in secret society who may have been asked to sacrifice one thing or the other. A child, a parent, or a part of them. We've been seeing it. So because coming to Jesus is via prayer and obedience to his word, it looks so simple that this kind of simplicity in Christ may not have what it takes to deliver you. And that is why some so-called Christians are trying to make Christianity difficult by carving a kind of lifestyle for them, making themselves look like a mini-god so that you think, this. no, this, the day Jesus died, the veil to the temple tore apart, giving every man access to God. Giving every man access to God. So why not allowing a man becoming a god in the situation? As I'm ministering to you this morning, the gate of heaven is open. There in your room, there in your office, there in that corner, you can bow down your head now and begin to talk to God concerning any issue of a concern and you will see how God will minister to them. His ways are always different. So I challenge you this morning as we conclude with the book of Psalm. It's a popular scripture. Psalm 23 verse 4. It says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That's exactly what the blessing of God in the month of November is going to do for you. Though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, even though you are going through that kind of a valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. That's going to be your portion today. Are you walking through a valley of the shadow of death? Things are crumbling. Things are not working the way you expected. You made some terrible mistakes in the past and is still fighting you. See, see, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, fear no evil. Fear no evil. As long as you have repented and you have committed, connected to the God of heaven, he said, fear no evil. See, his rod and his staff, they will comfort you. That is a word for you on glorious morning shower today. It is going to be a new day for you. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus that every form of depression leave your life. Anything that is of a concern tying you down, making you not to go to God again in prayer, weakening your strength in the area of prayer and faith in God, in Jesus' name, let those things today as we talk to God be ventilated out of your spirit, man, out of your life, so that you become whom God has made you to be. I decree in the name of Jesus that every form of depression is removed from your life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.